Hi everyone, welcome back to Delisa's Life Dance, where here I am talking about health, wellness, and positivity. And I am so positive right now because as you all know, I am in your favorite chef competition 2023 and I'm doing okay, but I've got to do more than okay. I've got to win. So yes, winners, that's all of us. When you vote for me, Delisa, Christine, Branch, Neely, I, and it will put be in the description, Vote for me every 24 hours for your favorite chef. This is a competition set up by Carla Hall um, and, the, and supported by the James Beard Foundation, which is a foundation that helps restaurants, those wanting to become chefs. Um, it's a nonprofit. I'll put the link down there and um, show you all about that. So I'm doing really, really great. I am what? headed back to the kitchen so I can share another recipe of mine that I've used over the years, many, many years. It's a hit. M mainly every recipe and most of the things I put in here, I did a challenge for myself to do a Turks and Caicos, do an uh, island meal, Turks and Caicos. But usually every Christmas Eve, I do like a island Jamaican based uh meal with peas and rice. So I did have a little bit experience of making the peas and rice before, but it was so good. I loved it and the plantains. So today I'm going to bring to you one of my personal favorites, having three children, working, being in a dance company, like all of it. It's like, how do we eat? When do we eat? And when my children were coming up, I had several parties and uh, for them, birthday parties. And um so with children, it's often difficult to see what are they going to eat. But this one was a smashing, smashing hit. And it's my go-to whenever I only have like 30 minutes to prepare something. And so this is what I do. It's just a penne pasta, just, but so filling and really, really tasty. Penne pasta with uh, just a marinara sauce or a, today I have a... Um, a basil oregano sauce. I really don't have a personal favorite to sauces. I know some of you that have a lot of time can get in the kitchen and create your own sauces, which is amazing. But I'm talking about the working mom on the go. Okay. <laughs> so I just use uh, basically whatever is what I deem uh, great for my budget. <laughs> so... I will have a uh, basil oregano sauce. I will share that with you today. And um, then I'm just gonna saute a little bit of zucchini and put a bell pepper with it. Uh, my, just because I wanna have some color. Uh, you can do, like, like I said, many, many things. And with kids, I usually, I would really make broccoli because I could sell them to the children as being little trees. Little, and you could be the dinosaur and eat the little, flowerettes off the trees like a, like a, you know one of the dinosaurs that we see in the mini cartoons <laughs> and that kind of sold them I'm sure there's a game now or an app now that has dinosaurs in it for the little ones that you can share with them so meet me in the kitchen I wanted to tell you also that most of what I do with the positivity aspect is I've had lots of people um, from way back by the time of when Oprah did the laws of attraction. I went out and uh, with all that, the, the panel of people, it was 2006, I'll never forget it. It was one of my days off and I was watching Oprah and there they all, all were. It was the book, she was launching the book by Rhonda Byrne, The Secret. So I had always been living by The Secret and I didn't really know I was living by The Secret. So if you haven't read The Secret or saw the movie, I would encourage you to do that. I mean, all of these influencers, that was when influencers, I guess, kind of like the beginning of influencing people, <laughs> humans. <laughs> James Beckworth was there. Jack Canfield was there. Um, so many, 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 Lisa, Lisa Nichols uh, was there. All of these uh, beautiful, positive people have gone on to major, major success. And so, you know, it's it's just how I, it really resonated with me. So I started living a mindful way and I also cook in a mindful way. So this is my positive cooking aspect and that's my platform on how I'm, I entered this contest. I just 
had an inspired action to take action. I was inspired to take action on the beach on my vacation with my mother-daughter retreat with my daughter uh, a few weeks ago. And I saw it and I was like, oh, wow, I would really love to do this favorite chef competition. And on my platforms with my winnings, if you read my profile, please read my complete profile because I'm launching myself, Delisa's Life Dance, because what Life is a dance and I have something to share with others. My book is coming and um, I did talk about that uh, a little while ago. It's taken me a while to get it going, but this winnings will help me launch what I need to do with my book. So that's coming. And also I have this shirt. I've been dancing with the Chinikari Ensemble. Here's Julia, my dance director. This shirt is created by, actually the print on the shirt is a beautiful mural in um, Julia's home. And the mural was painted by Jimmy Evans. And it's a depiction of Julia from the 2020, 2010 Ethnic Dance Festival where we performed with, we had to compete and we had to win our spot. And um, we performed in the Ethnic Dance Festival. I performed with Julia Chigamba and the Chinyakari Ensemble in 2010, 2011, and 2012 consecutively. Julia and the Chinyakari Ensemble have been in the Ethnic Dance Festival and I have posted about this on other, um, I'll put the link below on another um, YouTube excerpt that I did of maybe two years ago. I'm not sure. I've had my channel for three years now. So this is Julia Chigamba, my dance director, sister, and friend. And we have, she had inspired action to create a nonprofit called the Kamusha Foundation, which means home. So that's one of my um, platforms as well. So Delisa's Life Dance, the Chinikari Ensemble, which is a leg of the Kamusha Foundation. And also you've heard me talk about my teacher, Davy Jade. She is a spiritual teacher. She carries the peace pipe for the Lakota Sioux tribe. She is an amazing healer, energy healer, seer, mystic. Uh, you'll hear more, hear me talk about her more, but I'm, you know, she's my another, my, my other sister from another mister. <laughs> so let's get to the kitchen. This is gonna be a long post. Here are a bit of my ingredients. Uh, like I said, today um, I'm bringing you a little penne pasta with uh, tomato uh, marinara sauce. Actually, this is tomato basil sauce by Rotoli. That's on the menu due to the pricing. <laughs> Got a little bit of zucchinis there. I also love to cook with my um, essential oils for cooking. That's a little oregano there. Of course, you know me, I'm gonna put a little uh, Himalayan sea salt in there, a little pepper, and away we go. Also, you can choose to do this penne pasta, either vegetarian with no meat or with meat. So I chose to do meat. So I'm adding some um, Lara's grass-fed ground beef. So I just, I just added the Himalayan sea salt, a little black pepper. I added in my uh, oregano uh, here, and I've added in, um, let's see, Oh yes, I added in a little bit of basil flakes. If you have fresh basil, that'll work too, or basil. That's how <laughs> James Barber would say it. As you can see, well, I'm trying to get that out there. As you can see, we've got the rolling boil of the water for my pasta. Follow the directions of the package, y'all. For my package, it's 11 to 13 minutes, go. So my ground beef with the uh, sauce, the pasta sauce, I'm just pushing that around. I've drained my pasta noodles. I've also 
poured a tiny bit of olive oil over the top just to loosen them up. Um, this is <laughs> uh, my way and uh, I love it. I chopped up the zucchini, I chopped up the orange pepper. It can be a red pepper, yellow, whatever you like. If you want to put onions, you can. My system does better with um, the red onions. I didn't have any of that. So I'm just doing this. And again, Himalayan salt, olive oil, a little pepper. And you can put more or less or not at all. But I do encourage uh, salt, uh, some sort of salt, because that brings the vegetable flavor out so much better. Thank you. I've chosen to put the pasta into the pasta sauce and just turn it around until everything gets the sauce on it. I whether you're um, you know working at home, uh, working with your kids at home, working outside of the home. Guess what? Moms are always working. So. <laughs> This has been a classic hit for my family, for my young people, for their friends. If you all remember this from Mama D, Delisa, back in the day, leave me a comment. All I can say is, wow we yowza yowza. This is going to be so good. Simple, easy, do it up, dress it up, dress it down, whatever you want to do. Amazing. Just put that love, put that intention, put your energy into what you're making, people. Yum, yum, yum. So here it is, penne pasta with zucchini and orange peppers. And I made it pretty on the plate with a, a beautiful herb. You can't, you're not to eat it. Um, I will check on that, actually. But it's called Ruda, and uh, my friend and colleague Gloria gave me some, and it's a deeply spiritual type of flower, and it's used to keep away bad spirits. Woo! I also decided that I should put this book in here since the coloring is, oh, so similar to my meal. So I do read this book. My teacher, Davy Jade, has recommended it. Think and grow, grow Rich. If you all know me, I did and follow me. I had a fall in 2021 where I fell and I ripped my hand apart and I fell on my face. And so sometimes um, when I speak, I've had... Um, stitches in my lower lip and I can still feel those stitches so <laughs> they're dissolving after two years but anyway when I misspeak or say something in my speech it's because my lower lip is a little wonky so anyway <laughs> but I can still talk and I still have the use of my right hand so like subscribe and share and I will be seeing you soon keep voting your favorite chef Delisa.